Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Uh, folks, I want to say, uh, thank God it's Friday. <laughs> Though, I'm not entirely sure God's the one who's been in control this week because the news is a hellscape. Um, you know what they call the presidency the bully pulpit? The president has a bully pulpit. So far, Donald Trump is only doing the bully part. One of his victims this week is Alaska senator and summertime manager of the Overlook Hotel, Lisa Murkowski. <laughs> Murkowski was one of only two Republican senators who voted against bringing the GOP health care bill to the floor <laughs> on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that clapping means you're not Donald Trump because <laughs> Trump then tweet wedged her. Senator at Lisa Murkowski of the great state of Alaska really let the Republicans and our country down yesterday. Too bad. <laughs> and with this tweet, I just let them down a little further. Too bad. <laughs> okay, that's tough talk. But she's not up for re-election until 2022. Mm. So he's got nothing on her. He yeah. can't threaten her. Nope. Which is why the Trump administration instead has threatened retribution against the entire state of Alaska <laughs> over Murkowski's votes. Because, no, he's got to, because Donald Trump knows that being president is like being in prison. You gotta walk up to the biggest state and just jack them. <laughs> Otherwise, the Senate smells weakness and it turns you into sweet meat for the next three and a half years. But I am surprised that Donald Trump would threaten Alaska. I mean, he and Alaska have a lot in common. He got his start on reality shows, just like every citizen of Alaska did. <laughs> Apparently, Murkowski and Alaska's other senator both got a threatening call from Interior Secretary and man who wants to get you into a used pickup truck today, okay? <laughs> What's it gonna take? Ryan Zinke. The Zink called the Alaskan senators to tell them that the vote had put Alaska's future with the administration in jeopardy. Oh, come on. You can't scare Alaskans. Their state motto is, if you have to, eat the dogs. <laughs> so, I think that's true. It's in Latin. It sounds better in Latin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, Trump sent one of his goons to threaten people who cross him. This administration is like organized crime except for the organized parts. <laughs> it's not very good at this, fellas. Is, I don't know, I can't tell. Is Donald Trump, is Donald Trump really willing to throw an entire state under the bus just because his feelings are hurt? Jimmy, could, could we look at the White House today? Could we zoom in on that flag? Oh, that does not look good. <laughs> that does not look good. Puerto Rico, time to polish up your resume. This might be your shots.